All right, guys, I am back. All right, so let me tell you what my cute butt tried to do. So I tried to do it off camera, right? Because I said if it failed, this would be a wash. So I did it. It was almost a fail, but my mom always told me how to put one little piece need to go back, put it back, and cover it up with some design. So that's what I'm going to do. So there was the butter, the creamer, and the vanilla extract. Like I say, here is the confectionate sugar. So what I'm going to do, I mix it all up together so I can control the pour and this daggone camera. All right. I pour a little bit in and I stir and I know the consistency that I want. So I just stir, 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 stir. It'll come together, guys. It ain't going to look like it right now, but it's going to come together. I forgot to give you guys the other part of my story <laughs> about cake gate at the church. So, like I said, someone has stole the cake. All right. So, we got through that. We had our jokes, like I said. Part two to that story is uh, a couple of months later, because we do the fellowship with the other churches every couple of months everyone goes to each church and you know your fellowship so part two to the story is one of these Sundays we were fellowshipping and one of the members who shall remain nameless came in and asked about <laughs> that pecan topped cake <laughs> and it was like oh no they didn't make the cake she don't even know that she just told on herself she talked about, oh, I wish I had that pecan cake here, honey, because that cake was good. In my mind, <laughs> at the time, I was like, wow. She probably was the one that took my dag on cake, being that she talking about how good it was and all this extra, extra. But you told on yourself, honey. God don't like ugly. He made you come back to the church and tell on yourself. So... That made it even funnier, but it is what it is. I'm making it again. I'm keeping it in my house. Ain't nobody going to steal it out of my house. I bet you that they're going to eat it up. That's what they're going to do. I just add a little more milk in there because I want it a little bit more loose so that, could, that it can pour. Now, my daughter just usually does this cuteness and everything, okay? And um, had I not been on a fast, I said it's a remix, right? <laughs> Had I not been on a fast, I probably would have added some rum in here as a glaze. But girlfriend is on a fast, so there will be no alcohol in attendance for this topic. Let me see. Oh, God, this is going to be cute. Let me see. How I'm gonna do, you see that little spot right there? That is so not cute. We're going to cover that up. I might get the spoon and do this. This might be better for coverage. <laughs> All right. Okay, that looks like it kind of sort of works. What you think? You think I could drizzle with that? It looked like drizzle consistency. All right, now. Okay, okay, okay. My daughter got me this 4K Canon G7X3 whatever camera. Because I told her that COVID made me want to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> And she said, I better use this camera. I'm still trying to figure this darn camera out. But God is good still. He is in the mix. Okay, let's try this. We're going to try. We're going to try. Let's start with this little spot right here that we need to cover up and drizzle over. How y'all think that's working? You think I covered up the mistake? Or the, the drippage? Or the detachment? Probably ain't put enough dag on fly. I know I put enough fly. I was just being cute and fast, trying not to do it <laughs> on camera in case it fell apart. But it didn't, and it looks delicious. It looks delicious. While I was waiting for all of this stuff to get together and cool down, I wasn't through some makeup on my face. Because if you think my hands was nice and pasty from washing them and all this hand sanitizer we got to use, you should have seen my face. I just got up and washed my butt. And wash my face this morning, ain't put nothing on it. So I add a little bit of something on it. Made me look like a human being today. That is coming along, all right. Did I cover that up? Yes, she did. Holy you. 
In Jesus' name, we did it. This little like my mama would be so proud of this cake. I'm so proud of this cake myself. Imagine it had that rum in it, though. I could have did for that rum. How that look, y'all? How y'all think that look? I think it looks delicious. And I'm going to get ready to cut it. I'm going to show you guys my face because I threw something on. Live with some stuff. Cover up these dark circles, honey. You got to do that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, this is homage to my mom and my favorite dishes that she made. Okay? I'm not going to cry. I'm going to be cool. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be doing um, something at least once a week as homage for her birthday month because her birthday is March 31st. So, guys, look forward to that. I know I was gone a while, but, you know, trying to set up and starting something new in a routine and, and life happens. So, I'm back. If I don't do nothing, I bet you I'll be here every week for my mama. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.